It seems like every student has a smartphone or a tablet that they just cannot put down during class. As teachers, we want to be able to keep the attention of our students, but it is difficult when we are competing with technology. What if, instead of fighting the use of technology in our classrooms, we integrated it in a meaningful way? Here, I have compiled a list of nine different app-based tech tools that you can use in your classroom to augment your lesson and help students interact with the material. This list is geared more towards higher grade levels, but elementary teachers might still find some good ideas in this list. Number one, note-taking applications. Notability is my number one favorite note-taking app. It allows me to use my iPad to create typed or handwritten notes and then to share them with anyone or sync them to my Google Drive effortlessly. What helps Notability to stand out from all the other apps that can do this is the entry box used for handwriting. Instead of zooming in on the screen to write or just having very large notes, Notability has this box that zooms in on a small part of the page and automatically pans as you reach this blue bar here. You can see what I just wrote shows up on the page at a normal size. Notability also allows for pictures or PDFs to be imported and then annotated in the app. This has allowed me to highlight articles, insert pictures into my notes, and even sign documents without having to print. Recordings can also be taken, and if you are typing while recording, tapping on the typed words later will take you to the proper place in the recording in order to review the relevant material. Notability is not a free app, but it routinely goes on sale in the App Store. It is also, unfortunately, not available for Android. A quality Android option I would recommend is Evernote, as it has many of the same features that Notability has. Also, it is free to download. However, the handwriting capabilities are not as developed as they are on Notability. Number two, the second app I recommend to teachers is Duolingo. This app is recommended specifically for foreign language teachers. However, it could be helpful to give ELL students some extra practice with the English language. Duolingo is an app that many people already use for fun, but as a teacher, you can set up a classroom in Duolingo where you can monitor your students' progress in the topics and assign them lessons to complete. Duolingo adds an attractive gaming atmosphere to learning a language and can appeal to all age groups. Duolingo for schools is free and available on all platforms, including from an internet browser. Number three, StudyBlue. StudyBlue allows you and your students to create and share note cards on a topic. These cards can be flipped through, turned into a quiz, or even transformed into a printable study guide. Once they are in a student's backpack, they can be studied offline as well. A limited Study Blue version is free, but it removes a lot of the sharing functionality. A membership can be purchased for as low as $7 a month, and teacher accounts are also available. Number 4. GeoGebra GeoGebra is a free graphing calculator app that allows students to not only visualize the functions that they are learning about in algebra class, but also to explore geometric and trigonometric properties. Inputs can include points, functions, and geometric shapes, and these shapes can be interacted with. An app like this will give visual learners a way to make the material click, and it is fun to draw the shapes on the XY plot. GeoGebra is available for Android, iOS, and your favorite web browser. Number five, Google Apps. A complete series could be done on the Google Apps themselves, but they will be considered as one here because of their interconnectivity. With one account, students would have access to an email account, a word processor, a spreadsheet and slideshow creator, a task manager, and many more. Many students are already familiar with many of the offerings that Google has. The real benefit to using Google Apps in your classroom is in the collaboration that is possible. Multiple students can edit a document at one time or check off boxes on a to-do list. Real-time comments can be made and Google Hangouts allows for students to discuss an assignment when they aren't in the same room without having to leave the assignment page. Most everything is stored in the Google Drive which will allow students to access their files on any device. Schools can also join Google for Education at no cost and provide their students with a school-run Google account. Number six, Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere allows teachers to ask questions and poll the class for the answers. Multiple choice, true, false, and short answer questions can be asked. Students answer the polls by accessing the app or by texting in their responses, and teachers can see the data in real time. This can replace classroom sets of clickers with an option that the schools do not need to purchase. Number seven, Kahoot. Kahoot allows you to create your own learning games. This could be used on those days when a lesson doesn't take as long as you had anticipated and you're left with 20 minutes and 20 unoccupied children. By going to getkahoot.com, you can design your own game or choose from one that has already been made. 
By using the app or going to kahoot.it and entering in the unique game pin, you can play the game. With the ability for teams to be made and the flexibility of making your own gaming experience, Kahoot allows students to have so much fun that they forget they are learning. Kahoot is free and available on all devices. Number 8. Class Dojo Class Dojo is a simple point-based classroom management app. Students are given an avatar and can be awarded points for being on task and exhibiting good behavior. They can also be penalized for being off task. Students can also be assigned into groups so that they are not singled out for the point portion of this app. Class Dojo also has another purpose. Teachers can add their students' parents to the app and share news, pictures, and videos from the day. Also, the parents are notified about behavior rewards and corrections. This way parents can stay up to date on what is happening in the class and how their child is doing. A Class Dojo account is free. Number 9. Off Time. Off Time is a phone restriction app. Sometimes, even with all the integration possible, we need students to put their phones away and pay attention to the lesson. Off Time allows the phone to be locked and access to be granted to only certain applications for a certain amount of time. A free version of Off Time is available, but the paid version allows the ability to create different profiles for different tasks and to also schedule when Off Times will be automatically taken. Similar apps are available, such as Forest, which is free for Android and paid on iOS. Off Time is only available for Android, as the permissions required are not allowed in the Apple OS. I hope you liked this list of nine essential apps for teachers to use in their classrooms. Did I give you any ideas on how to integrate technology? Did I miss any worthwhile apps? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.